Hi guys, so Tom Vapes here, got another review for you today and what I'm going to be reviewing is the Totally Wicked Vape Pro uh, which I received free of charge for the purpose of this review I must point that out from my Totally Wicked store in Wakefield um, I've decided to review this because I was asked a while ago by <coughs> somebody in one of my comments um, Joscar412 I think it was um, he asked whether I've ever used one well, I've used one a few times before um, and I like the product so I thought I'd ask if I could borrow it to do a review and they kind of said yes so here we are I'm not going to use a close up cam today because this is just the Vape Pro that's all that comes, no batteries, no nothing so this is all you get so I don't really think there's any point uh, I'll just show some basic instruction things and try and do it on this camera so bear with me if it's a bit crappy um, so in the box nice packaging again by the way as usual by them very good with presentation in the box it's your Vape Pro and this is the chromed version uh, they do like a brushed sort of steel look one as well uh, which is quite nice um, but this one's lovely and shiny also get some instructions in the bottom of the box which are some very good instructions in proper English language not Chinglish which is good um, instructions are very simple to follow nice to understand so this is what you get in the box I've just put one of my own 18650 batteries in here um, and it's a good Panasonic one so this is it Mr Wicked on the button made by Totally Wicked on the bottom looks nice display is good Let's see if we can. I knew the lights were going to be a bit bright. Are we the wrong way around there? Yes, we are. Yeah, that way. Just hang a second, guys. Right. Yeah, sorry about that. Right, so, number one is voltage up. Number one. Number two is power down. That one is on and off, so it's on, off, on. Number four is the battery output. It said 3.5. Uh, battery, well, battery voltage check, I think it's called. That one. Number five is the display change. Number six is the LED light on or off. Number seven is the voltage or power mode. So it's power mode. Oh, one, two, three. One, two, three. That, yeah, that one, right? So power. Voltage, power voltage. So I'm changing it to voltage now. Uh, number, well that was number seven. Number eight. Ah, oh, if it's closer, it works better. Number eight. Ah, oh, I've gone past it now. Seven, eight. Number eight is the switch, it switches between instant power delivery and like a gradual delivery. Um, you can understand what that means. Starts off at sort of a low voltage or wattage and then it goes up to the voltage or wattage that you've set. So it slowly sort of warms the, the coil up on whatever device you put on it, whatever tank or whatever you prefer to put on it. Um, 
personally I've used I have got an EVIC and you can do that sort of thing on an EVIC it's a little bit more complicated than what this is on an EVIC as usual EVIC's probably the most complicated device I've ever bought um, which is odd because I used to think this and like a a ve uh, Vemo, Vemo was this screen, I thought the screen was complicated but it's not actually, it looks complicated I was hoping I'd be able to make it simple by showing you do three clicks then you're on to whatever your thing is, you leave it oh. uh, you leave it and it goes into that section and then you press it again to choose which one and then it goes off the section and whatever you've picked it's done once you've got it in your hand and you just a couple of minutes it, it's so simple to use um, I hope I put that across in this video don't think I have very well but anyway right let's set it at what I'm going to use it at right so volts 3.2 Put it about four volts. Yeah, uh, four volts. Right, and I'm gonna screw on a pro tank too. And we're off. And it says two point three ohms is the coil. At four volts, yeah, it's about what I normally have it at. So let's give it a, a talk. So, as you can see, it produces. Must point out that the the liquid is a 50-50 liquid um, it is my own mix which I mixed with a totally wicked uh, uh, can't remember which one now platinum totally wicked platinum mix, uh, mix your own kit um, yeah so it's 50-50 so it's going to make a bit more vapour um, flavour is great off it but obviously that always the, the amount of vapour and the flavour I must point out always depends on what tank you've got in it on it even so but nevertheless with this setup it's working pretty good working fantastically really um, so yeah I don't think there's very much more I can say about that other than for a newcomer or someone that hasn't got a variable voltage device they haven't got into the variable wattage variable voltage because this does both um, All I can say is it's not as complicated as it first appears. This, having the small screen, see, I'll, uh, where's my EVIC? I'll get my EVIC and show my EVIC. Are we on? Yeah. Right, so they're both on. Now, with the EVIC, because it's got a slightly bigger screen, um, and, it, and the way it's set out because you can see the wattage the ohms and the voltage and the power um, of, of your battery at first glance the EVIC appears to be less complicated because you've just got this ring and it goes up and it goes down and you automatically think you can change this one much faster which, which with that point you can change this faster just because of the ring but once you know how to use 
the Vapro correctly, uh, which takes a couple of hours, I think, if that. This is no more complicated. It's just as simple. Uh, it's much. It's just as simple to to change stuff with with the Vape Pro. Um, going up voltage. Done. It's it, it's a it's a fantastic device and slightly taller. So look. Oh no, it's not. It's bang on the same size, but it's thinner. It's only taller because it's got the a bigger tank on it. Uh, it's thinner, it's comfortable in the hand, button's fantastic, I love the button, I prefer the button on this than I do on the EVIC. Um, it's lovely to use um, and it vapes brilliantly. So, that's all I can think to say about the Vape Pro. Um, yeah, I think it's a fantastic product. Um, no surprise there though, seeing as it's totally wicked. Um, fantastic product, the company's good. Um, and the, the, the price is... I can't remember how much it is, let's have a quick look. Um, I can remember thinking that it wasn't too badly priced either. Uh, sorry about this, guys. Should always have this information ready. Um, eighty-nine pounds. So cheaper than the Evic. Um, they do also do a Vape Pro Deluxe kit. Uh, which is, which I think is still pretty decently priced. That's um, one hundred and thirty nine ninety nine, um, and the uh, it, that co the Vape Pro kit comes with a trust fire charger, uh, battery. It comes with the tank for the Odyssey, so it's it's a cartomizer tank, but it's a it's a nice cartomizer tank. Um, that tank comes with two cartomizers. Um <clears throat> yeah, so it's got everything you need if you buy it in the in the kit. Um its maximum output is six volts, which is quite high, I think is high. I think the the EVIC only goes to five volts. Um and and it goes from it goes from three to six in one point in point one volt increments uh, in watts it goes up to 15 so that's higher than the EVIC as well because I think that only goes to 11 um, it's limited at 4 amps um, yeah so it's not ego threaded um, but I don't suppose most people would want to put anything that's ego threaded on it um so yeah so overall i rate it pretty highly um probably just above the evic um and i will be buying one myself possibly even this one uh yeah definitely rate it um so thanks for watching guys um please comment sorry if um Anyone would prefer me to have shown the instruction, well, how to use it on close up cam. Um, but if people think that's the case, then I might reshoot this video. So, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe or follow me on Twitter at uh, vapes89. So, cheers.